Hello and welcome to part two of my interview series. My name is Peter and this is a coffee shop where I like to hang out. Hi there, Noemi. Hi, Peter. In part one of this series, I mentioned the importance of interviews and showed by a short example how the interviewer has almost complete control over the interview. Today we will cover a question technique called the echo question. The echo question is simply that. Uh, it's a device to keep the subject talking by simply repeating back a keyword from what the person just said. Because the echo question is so neutral in itself, it forces the other person to elaborate on what he just said. It's a very powerful and simple to use technique. So here is an example of the echo technique. Hello and welcome to another edition of Talking to Dead People. My name is Peter and today I'm going to talk to Hamlet, dead prince of Denmark. How are you today, Hamlet? I'm just fine, Peter, thank you, considering I'm still dead. Hamlet, we've all read the Shakespeare play named after you. My question is, did it all really happen that way? Oh, no, 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 no. He got it completely wrong. Completely wrong? Yes, that nonsense about my uncle killing my father. My uncle couldn't hurt a fly. So, how did your father die? Well, truth be told, he died on the toilet, just like Elvis. <laughs> on the toilet? Yes, in those days people were always dying on the toilet. It was dangerous. The toilets were outside. You might get followed by a wolf or a, or a hungry rabbit or even a crazed weasel. Then you sit down out there, your pants are down around your ankles, and you're vulnerable. You get attacked. Well, that's quite a shocking revelation. What about the rest of the story, the rest of the characters? Ophelia, what about your girlfriend Ophelia? Oh, that nutcase? Oh, she really was crazy then. Zunes, she was always crazy. Her real name was Opie, she was a he. Ophelia was a man? Of course, why do you think I was always trying to get her off my back? He was a pain in the ass. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for coming, Hamlet. It was a real eye-opener. Thanks for having me. It's not often I get to talk to someone from beyond the grave. And thank you all for watching Talking to Dead People. Next week, we'll be talking to George Bush, who's not quite dead yet, but why wait? Thanks again, and good night. <laughs>